What's up, guys? How's it going? KTV3 here for a quick discussion video today. And pretty much my title is going to be What Makes a Game Overrated? Now, pretty much I looked up the term overrated, and pretty much it is a person's opinion of something or someone that is very high. Uh, it was pretty much his opinion that's making the certain person or certain thing higher than it actually is. And that simply can go from a person that can go for, um, you know, a, a game. It can go for anything out there. I looked up some examples and some random examples they gave me with like MySpace, uh, Ford Mustang, um, Dragon Ball Z, which is an anime that pretty much everybody should know of that came back in the 1990s um, and stuff like that. Now, pretty much one of the top things that many people list, oh, you know, most overrated game ever or right now is Call of Duty. You know, Call of Duty has been back way back in, you know, last couple of years, um, you know, started from the World War stuff and then it kind of got a little bit revamped in Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4. I think right there that was pretty much the turning point. And I think between either Modern Warfare 2 or between Black Ops, I can't really remember. It's pretty much when it was doing a copy and re, you know, copy and paste type of gameplay. Um, and many people were disappointed in it at that, and many people still buy the game every year. And of many people's list, that is the most overrated game as of right now. One of the most overrated games of right now. This dude did that alone, and it's pretty much copy and repeat. And you know, Advanced Warfare is coming out this year, which will make it, you know, Call of Duty, you know. It's coming again for another generation, even though it's going to have a new engine and whatnot. And uh, pretty much the trailers of Call of Duty looks amazing. You know, it'd be eye dropping. You know, it's bring out the very best. Well, it brings the very best of you know the presentations and make, gets people pumped up. But when the gameplay comes around, it'd be most of the time be a different story. Now, pretty much another per, another a game that many people can say that's overrated that I heard from a lot of people. Was a Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, pretty much Grand Theft Auto 5 came out last year, and uh, it, it had a very big, you know, fan base of it because pretty much Grand Theft Auto has been around for a long time, several years, and many people didn't. Well, some people that I talked to didn't like Grand Theft Auto 5. They didn't really pick it up. They think it's just pretty much overhyped, just based off the, you know, fan base and stuff like that. Many people say it's not as good as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and uh, many people say, you know, or well, some people that I talked to didn't even like the game in general. Now I played the game. I played the game several times. I don't own the game. I played it um, last December, and pretty much I, you know, enjoyed the game. You know, it had a lot of stuff in it. Uh, you know, story was pretty, you know, pretty good. You know, you had three main characters, and you had a lot to do. Uh, so I wouldn't say as overrated because they do bring trying to bring back some of that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas stuff. You know, you had a new injured or whatnot, but um, I, I haven't really played you know the whole full game yet so I can't really say my opinion so pretty much I think it's pretty you know all right pretty average of it uh, I can hear I can definitely see the overhype for the game uh, but you know me personally I think that high it is you know it um, deserves a hype so and I can't really say per se because I haven't you know really played through the whole game um, but a game that I would say that's overhyped that I have played the game that I still got the game for some reason is Grand Theft Auto 4 which was actually the very first Grand Theft Auto game of last generation back in 2008 for the PS3, Xbox 360. I think it came out to the PC a little bit uh, earlier. And that game was actually overhyped. After you beat the story mode, you pretty much had nothing to do with side missions or pretty much playing in Doe, the activities. You know, you didn't really have that much variety of stuff like you did in San Andreas. You had from bowling to darts to going to different types of, uh, you know, sh uh, I guess, what was it called? Like different type of shows, comedy shows and stuff like that. I mean, they were all right, but the replay value was very low for Brother Father 4. I would definitely put that above anything else, you know. Um, so that's pretty much it. What is your overhyped game? What makes a game over overrated to you? You know, me simply be, um, making a game very, uh, I guess, a, a game that's very successful, but a person's opinion overhyping it to make it a little bit better than it actual is and it can be things from Call of Duty which a game comes out every year it has a very big fan base of it Grand Theft Auto series I looked up a little bit more uh, games you know that was actually listed they put stuff like LA Noir, uh Halo Angry Birds which I don't know understand you know it's not really it's a game but not like a big title game but I guess you can I guess you could put that in there I don't believe 
and there's just a whole bunch of games in you know general that I looked up. But that's all I have to say. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite? Or what, is, what game to you is overrated? And what will you define an overrated video game? Thanks for watching, KZ3, and I'll see you guys in my next video.